Claudia, die heißt das Mastula. Claudia. Eres muy amable. Eh, eh, no puedo. Qué bueno, porque no son para ti. It's okay. When I first saw you, I said to myself, this is a man that knows what he wants. He's just uh, afraid. I'm not afraid. It's just that I'm... I know, I know. It is just the way things are. But a man must pay to get what he wants. Hmm? That is why we are all here, yes? Beatriz, portate bien. Hola. Hi. You want to show me what you're drawing? Beatrice, right? Pedro. Listen, why, why don't we just talk first, okay? You don't want to waste time with talking. It's okay. How old are you? How old do you like? No, that's not what I meant. 
I just want to get to know you. Get, get, get to know who you are. You're like 13. Come on. No, please. 12. Follow. Drunk. Uh, no, uh, it's 
to start. Alex, I need you on this. You know the town? It's too much. The job is for two. I don't have a brother in El Paso. <laughs> Maury, are you spying on me? It's our job to know things, Alex. So stop talking this retirement shit. Men like us don't retire. Marshall, you're all set. Anything else I can do for you? Mr. Marshall? No, no, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, the room number again? 1106. It's on the key holder. Ah, yes. Thank you. Pleasant trip. Let's go down on it. Yes, he's here. He looks like what you'd expect. I'm sure he'll be fine. All right, by now. Your people said this would be done quickly. And it will. specificity than that. No, you won't. The less you know, the better. I was trying to save him. You are a liar. Look, Beatrice, what happened to you? What Papa did, it ain't right. No, 
No, it's not your fault. No charge. Like I said, it way. is how you pay to be free. It was better than here. I brought you these. I don't want them. Listen, there's a, a special visa for people like you to stay in the U.S. while we're working on your case. You want me to tell? It's wrong that you're locked up here. All the men who did things to you were out there. Papa said to never tell. I'm gonna have you transferred to Child Protective Services, okay? They'll put you in a group home, not lock you up. Now, I don't expect anything in return. Okay, if you wanna talk, you can talk. If you don't wanna, you don't have to. Te mereces algo mejor, Beatrice. I gotta get this done. I got a permit filing downtown. Downtown? Yeah, I work. Wendy, contracts. Don't just jump in the boat. Don't wait up for me. Ellis. Yeah? Her perfume fucking stinks. Wash it off before you come home, will you? Por favor, repite las siguientes frases. ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo, cómo está usted? Sí, estoy bien. Está usted? Sí. Maybe you want to do that sí, later. Sí, soy bien. I'm multitasking. ¿Cómo está usted? Sí. Yeah, well, I just don't want to die today. Niño. 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 How can you live in Texas and not speak Spanish? Niño esposa. Fucking owl. stomping all over my crime scene. He's out there. Hey, 
Agent Sarah, Agent Amistad, this is Mrs. Van Kale. Wendy, I guarantee these are two of my best. Just tell them what you told me. Alice was... It was a robbery. The safe was opened. And you've told this to Detective Mora? I haven't talked to the police. I called Gerald first. Well, I'm, I'm sure Special Agent Nussbaum has made it clear to you the more people we have working on this early on, the better our chances of solving it. Uh, so I'm going to go get Detective Moore just so you don't have to repeat yourself. Excuse me. You want to come outside and take her statement? So, your boss trying to get somewhere as he ought to really get there. That's real nice, Mora. Sexualizing the wife of a murder victim. No one asked for you guys. He just parachuted in on this. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. This is your investigation. But let's just do this together, and then I'll get Nussbaum off your back. I don't need to cut a deal. Can you just not be an asshole all the time? Just say yes, Danny? Yes, Danny. Okay, let's go. Mrs. Van Camp, this is Detective Danny Mora. Sorry for your loss, ma'am. When was the last time you saw your husband alive? Last night, uh, around nine, I, I was going to an art opening. And Ellis was... He was going to pop permits. Sounds like your husband has something on the side. I assumed that he was um, meeting a friend. You have her number or his? Linda, let's have Agent Sarah continue the interview. I can get you her number. Thank you, ma'am. You have any business dealings that went bad? Anyone you know might want to hurt him? I, I, I don't know. Please help me. What am I going to say to him? My captain called this morning. Apparently, I'm no longer needed. Good. I'm glad everybody's here. So, in light of what happened with the Papa Leon raid, the task force is being reorganized. Detective Marquez will be heading back to Mexico. We're not done, sir. Cooperation with the Mexican police is on. We're done, Sarah. I've spent the last three days getting an earful from Washington. Facts are facts. This has been a wide-reaching international investigation, and we got nothing to show for it. Puta madre. You got something you want to say, Marquez? It's not nothing, sir. 
We've gotten plenty in Mexico. Madrotes in Tenancingo, Coyotes in Juarez. But as soon as we come into the U.S., things get, uh, I don't know. Maybe your ears in Washington just don't want to hear. Chingada madre. It's pretty obvious the appetite for big fish ends at the border. I don't like what you're insinuating, Marquez. I don't think I was insinuating anything. I was saying it pretty flat out. You guys has a point, sir. We've never gotten anywhere with the U.S. base, Pedroni, if there even is such a thing. The word was Papaleon served rich men. White men. The word? Is that what you people build cases on, New Juarez? We have Papa Leon on tape bragging about his clientele. Look, I know you take this personally, but the well's gone dry. I know you don't want to believe there's a white Pedroni, but shutting down a case don't make it so. Watch yourself, sir. I have a witness. What we have is an undocumented minor in detention. What we have is a severely traumatized undocumented minor in detention. And she's the only valuable witness we have. When were you going to tell me you offered Beatrice Leon a team on visa? I was coming to that. To notify me of the deal you're not authorized to make with a witness in a case you haven't made? I thought helping kids like Beatrice Leon was part of our job. She's eligible. The task force is done. And that is straight from Washington. As for Beatrice, we can team on her and move her to a group home. But you need to focus on the Van Camp murder. That's El Paso PD every day. You want to help a kid like Beatrice? You play ball on the homicide. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. Good. Coleman Howe, you'll have new duty assignments this week. Detective Marquez, on behalf of the Bureau and the United States, I thank you for your service. Is that a paperwork issue, witness or victim? Both. We reach out to social services, see what we can do about counseling and school. That'd be great. Is there any family on either side of the border I should know about? No, the father was a trafficker. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. I'll keep you posted. You're gonna be okay here. You asked me before at Papa's what I was trying. It was a desert. I draw deserts. So you do. Look at that. Keep it. I'll come back and see you soon, okay? I promise you.
No, no he dicho nada, perdón. Perdón. some sort of a deal because at the end of the day all I want is a blowing. Keep so your voice down. Shh, we got a deal. I'll keep my voice down but we still got to negotiate. Hey, leave the lady alone, pal. Well, well, wait a minute, Pops. First of all, this ain't a lady, which you're about to find out right about now. Am I right, babe? No, you're drunk. Go to bed. Okay, can you do us a favor, please, and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Good 
the bar, being an asshole in front of a beautiful lady. It happens all the time. nice. Maybe next time you're in town. I won't be back. All right. Good luck then. And you? A 13-year-old girl has been murdered in Sunset Heights. The minor, Beatrice Leon, had recently been relocated to a group home from an El Paso detention center. According to an El Paso police spokesman, the young girl's murder is... Was I here last night? Yes. What's wrong? Yes. I was here. Yes. All night. 
Yes, stop it, you're hurting I was here all night. Yes. Listen to me very carefully. You have to leave now. You were never here. We never met. Do you understand? I understand. I have to go, right? You stay away from this hotel for a while. A long while. Okay. Do you hear me? Yes. Do not answer that door for anyone. Anyone. Soft, Alex. They'll end you for this. Happy retirement, Maury. Alex! I'd want you to. My grandfather is a Brutzesi. He lived to be 104. Yeah. Lucky guy. You know that whole region along the Adriatic and uh, Okinawa, Japan? They call those blue zones. Places that generally have a higher percentage of centenarians. I'm aware, Joseph, but why? Nutrition, lack of pollutants in the air. There is no reason we have to age, to decay. Some medical professionals might actually argue that. Everything can be reprogrammed. Madded. Why shouldn't human health be the same? DNA is an algorithm. Look, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. <laughs> Especially when so much of it ends up in your pocket. You give me a call. I don't know what the fuck's going on in this time. Swear to God, it's getting more like Afghanistan every day. Who are they? Match set. 
Jane and John Doe. He was in the driver's seat, blown the fuck up. She was in the trunk. 32 caliber bullet to the neck, jacketed with suppressor markings, just like we pulled out of Beatrice Leon. Car's registered to a David Marshall. Rented at the airport. Some expat businessman out of San Diego. Probably the corpse in the car. We're running teeth on them both. Okay, this guy's drunk as a skunk. He uh, blew a .24 three times over the limit. So I need you to sign off on the report before you go. Well, you got it. What's that? Found him on the floor. And didn't match anything on our database, so the lab's running chem tests. Well, if that's a prescription, it might help. The lab's identify. on it. We may not be fancy, Vincent, but we ain't done. I'll run the Marshall name through Vicat, see if anything comes up. I'll hit you up with the ballistics as soon as they come back. Same with the bill. Yeah. Thanks. Hey. Sorry about the girl, man. I was fucked up. I couldn't go back. They don't love you in Mexico anymore? <laughs> You're not asking for my permission to stay, are you? Linda, I had to. Oh, well, in that case. Come on, you know what she's like. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck about that girl, Vincent. Except you, me, and Linda. I can do things you and her can't, you know? As a concerned citizen. From Mexico. Okay, concerned Mexican citizen. With questionable investigative authority in the United States. <laughs> Yeah, Nussbaum's really gonna go for that. Fuck Nussbaum. I don't work for him. I promise you I have no reason to say anything unless you give me one. What you're doing right now is incredibly stupid, Alice. I hope you understand that. You've left me no choice. I won't be cut out. Look, this doesn't have to be ugly. Black May is already ugly. Look, Mr. Oh, Van Camp, we are not negotiating. You've crossed the line from which there is no return.
looks like another 32 caliber. And I'm guessing it's also going to be jacketed with suppression lines. I'm going to go talk to the wife. See you there. I think he's right. I put money on it. This is a problem, no question. Maybe you hit her cleaning up some shit. I checked, Sarah, you were working the Van Camp murder. Last time I checked, Sarah, I worked for the FBI. Was that Hugo Marquez I just saw? Listen, I think there's a connection between Beatrice Leon, the Jane Doe found in the trunk of the car downtown, and this guy, William Moore. If this does turn out to be a jacket of 32, that's three people likely killed with the same weapon. Look, I get it, the girl. She's under your skin. Maybe you're a little obsessed. No, I'm just doing my job. Hugo thinks it's a pro settling scores. We think it could be a hitter from across the fence. But you can't be sure. We can't, but if the ballistics match and there really is a Mexican killer tearing ass through town, we might want to get ahead of that. And we're going to need Marquez. All right, do what you have to do. But it would update twice a day. Yeah. Well, I've just came back on those pills. Diffidel. Alzheimer's drug. Your shooter's losing his shit. Okay. Is the wife inside? Keep your hands away from the cage on that one. I don't know if it's medicine or just plain crazy. You want to sit in on this? Sure. This is Borden. I'm Agent Sarah. This is Detective Marquez. I'm sorry for what's happened. Part of life, right? That's what they say. Hasn't really sunk in. FBI. Fancy. You an agent, too? Diaz aren't from Mexico. What's Mexico have to do with William? He hated the place. Well, that's what we're hoping to find out. Have you noticed anything unusual happened in the past few weeks where your husband's behavior hasn't changed at all? Will's behavior hasn't changed in 20 years. No. Nothing. What kind of law did he do? Real estate. Sorry to ask this, Mrs. Borden, but do you know if your husband had any ties to prostitution? I have no idea. Sit down. Bill paying for it? Doesn't seem like him. Did your husband know Ellis Van Camp? I know Wendy. I see her at the same events. It's all one big cocktail party up here. You like cocktails, detective? Margaritas. Nicoladas. Thanks for your help, Mrs. Borden. If you need anything, just give us a call. I'm afraid she can't Don't be disturbed. Don't fucking start. I've been calling you all morning. Borden's dead. Someone executed him. I mean, if he got to Borden, then he's close. Jesus, Mom. Are you queen? and the Jane Doe in the car, but not Borden. Two thirty-twos, two shooters. Trafficking, Vincent Sierra. You're the one who took the girl to the group home, weren't you? Who is this? Marshall, David Marshall. What's happened, Trace? Uh, David Marshall burned up the car downtown. That's your doing? I can't keep doing your job for you. 
What job is that? Warden Van Camp. What they did to children. They're not doing anything about it. Are you saying you killed William Borden and Alice Van Camp? Yes. And what about the girl, Beatrice Leon? Not the girl. That was Maurizio, the man in the car. You're too slow to make them pay. They're too rich. Who's too rich? The lawyer, the client. Who's the client? Did you know her? Who? The, the, the girl. Beatrice. A little. Did you care? Fifteen seconds. I certainly did. I want to believe that you're a good man, Vincent. I'm the bad man. I have been for a long time. But they have to be punished. If I can't finish this, you have to. He's downstairs in the park. I just got here, Mrs. Fortin. You shouldn't leave the gate open. Whatever will be, will be. And if you're watching over me, nothing to worry about, right? You're a strong swimmer. I'm out of shape. and a dashing husband in L.A., I ended up here, in Texas. You pass me that glass? Sure. So what do you want, Detective? Well, I'm not here to clean your bowl. You're not a real cop here, are you? That's why I'm here. What? To not arrest me? Have you ever heard your husband talk about a man named David Marshall? You didn't come here to ask me questions. I didn't come here for that either. I stayed out of William's business. Wise, no. I never knew the name, but I heard him on the phone. He was nervous. Didn't want me to hear he was talking about a man from Mexico City. Why didn't you say something before? Because of who he was talking to. Devonna Seelman. That's why I didn't say anything. He was being used. No. You should go. Thank you, Senor Orden. Don't ever come back, Detective Marquez. Devonna Seelman? You sure? That's the name she said. Borden was probably one of her attorneys. Nope. Borden isn't listed on any of the filings for C-Corp or Devanna Seelman personally. You realize we're talking about one of the most powerful real estate moguls in the country, right? Yeah, yeah. I know, but Borden spoke to Seelman on the phone about the men from Mexico City. Oh, you got proof? Well, did you bank her at least? I mean, if you're gonna take the word of a half-drunk trophy wife, you may as well get something out of it, right? Did she elaborate? What? On the man from Mexico City. Shut up, hold on. 
Borden wasn't one of Devanna Seelman's lawyers. He was one of Randy Seelman's lawyers. Devanna's son. Apparently Randy's also a real estate mogul. Oh, fuck. Randy Seelman's company owns the central processing facility. Where are they send Beatrice? Hey, in case you haven't noticed, they send a lot of people there. Oh, yeah, I know. But she's 13. Imagine how vulnerable you'd feel at that age in an eye center. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, well, it's not a first time there. She was there last year for three weeks with her father, and then they were deported. Good to hear. Ellis Van Kemp was CPF's builder. So everyone associated with this processing center, the lawyer, the builder, Beatrice, all dead. He's gonna kill Randy Seelman. Just have a talk. No time for that. 
I understand why you're saying that. I know you're not well. We all have to die, Vincent. What's important is what you do before you go. Vincent, get out of here. Will you get down? Get out of here. Is your friend a good shot? Very. And it's in your hands. Don't move. Put the fucking gun down. If I'm dead, you'll never know the truth. Put the gun down. You know, I quit drinking 15 years ago, but right now I can actually taste the scotch in the back of my throat. The man is the only son is just murdered on my watch. She's not happy with us. But it is even our head off duty comes for protection. He was way ahead of us. He was probably on that boat before the party even began. Who is this fucking guy, Vince? Alex Lewis. Well, I can tell you he's American. He's no doubt a contractor, but I don't think these have all been hits. He wants revenge for Beatrice Leon. Tonight, sir. Paul. Paul with his sons.
his style. His style is murder offensive. Yeah, well, we need to find him before the El Paso PD. They're not going to be happy about this. Well, we know something they don't. I think I know who Alex Lewis is. Her in juvenile records. Vandalism, auto theft, assault. Well, it could be him. Only problem is, Alex Lewis is dead. He and his father died in fire at the family bakery 40 years ago. Investigators thought Alex set the fire. Brother's still in town, though. Care facility on the parkway. Advanced Alzheimer's. Man's a vegetable. I also came up with medical records. Alex and his brother were well known at the ER. Always a fall down the stairs or an accidental burn. Other things were harder to hide. Father was never charged with the abuse, sexual or physical. Want me to warrant the bakery? Definitely. This guy from Mexico City, the one Borden was talking to Devanna Sealman about. What if she hired him? Because I'm thinking if Alex is not up to killing Sealman himself, he wants us to bring her in. Katya is the only person who can connect Sealman to any of these. It's Alex. She's harder to get to than any of the others. He reached out to you to cover his beds. The only address for Paul and Alex's medical records is the bakery. Don't forget about it. That place is a wreck. Unless you're looking for a patient. What did you say? Pigeons. Palomas. The place is full of them. The lab report on the Bronco. The one with the patrolman got killed. The floor had traces of pigeon shit on it. Get you. What? Anything you need. No, thank you. What's up now, boys? Check in.
them up. Get them a new battery. tell you why.
Jesus. Where'd you get this? It doesn't matter. El Paso PD are holding Alex Lewis, and I need you to transfer him into our custody. That'd even be their problem. Which side of this do you really want to be on? I need to talk to him. But it seems very powerful people don't want that to happen. from much longer. I understand you want to clear this up. Clear this up? No. I want Seelman dead. Well, she's not officially tied to any crime. You know, that's not true. She sanctioned the hit. She hired me to kill two people. Ellis Van Camp, and the second was that child. A girl of 13, Beatrice. I won't do that. children. Okay, press down. Thank you. I really appreciate you being here for me during all this. Hey, you're not just a client, you know. Is that true, Joseph? You know, the hardest thing is never really trusting those people close to you. Besides, friend, I will never really know why someone is with me. Come on. I'm your friend, Devon. I'm here for you. for your services is $10 million. I can't. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? I'm, I'm sorry, no. I took an oath. An oath? Like a marriage vow? You were at Randy's parties. You think I didn't know? So let's make this simple. $10 million or prosecution in prison for sex with minors. Well, uh, you need to understand something. Randy was weak, but he was my son. You are not. Murder for hire, murder for revenge, child abuse. It's all here. It's not over. Everybody's dead, Alex. Even if you do make it to trial, getting life, my friend, which, from what the doctors tell me, is maybe three to six months. So what are we doing here? Why are we here? Diana Seelman. Justice. Justice? Are you kidding me? I'll testify to all that. You're stuff. a contract killer. You think your testimony's gonna stand up in court? She hired me to kill a child. Did you get that in writing? We're gonna need that evidence. You really expect we're going to find justice? I expect you to try. Listen. Let me tell you something about justice. Twelve months ago, a drunk driver was flying down the I-8 in a stolen car. He's high on meth. He's, uh, hasn't seen another car that's pulled over on the shoulder. A mom and her ten-year-old son coming home from Legoland. they got a flat tire. But Colby doesn't see that the woman's out there changing the tire. 
He just plows right into her, kills her. Now he stops his car, and he sees behind him the boys jumped out. He's obviously screaming, seeing his mom dead on the road, crying for help. But Colby doesn't help. He puts his car in reverse and backs up with a boy, making sure there's no witnesses. And then he torches his car two miles down the road. But a 15-year-old girl, she sees him. She sees a man walking away from a big fire with a gas can. Now, it ain't much, but it's enough to put Colby on trial. You know what happened? They do a photo lineup. But the girl, she doesn't pick Colby. So they do it in person. Again, she doesn't pick Colby, even though everybody knows it's him. Three times, three lineups. Each time she picks a different guy. And Colby walks. And he's still out there. So. Memory's a motherfucker. And as for justice. It ain't guaranteed. You're a wife. You're a son. I have evidence. Yeah? What evidence you got? A phone call to Vanna Seelman. Threatening, threatening the first man I killed. Ellis Van Camp? Yes. I have that call on a flip. Flash? Flash. Flash drive? Flash drive. Where is it? I don't know. Help, help me. Help me remember. Please. We will. We will. That makes me sick to my stomach. I'm glad that bastard's dead. His mother was covering for him. Did I have a ceiling? Yeah. That woman hasn't had a parking ticket in her life. She knew that her son was raping minors. She also paid for the hit on Ellis Van Camp. Based on what evidence? The man she hired, Alex Lewis, he made it very clear to me. All the testimony of a professional killer. Alex Lewis was hired by William Borden for the Van Seal. Listen, it's the same man that has some kind of dementia. Advanced Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need real evidence. All right, not just the fucking testimony of some murderer who's cognitively impaired, Jesus. Any decent lawyer will annihilate him, understand? Listen. Apparently, there's a recording of Devanna Seelman on a phone call explicitly threatening Van Camp. Well, that I can use. I'm working on it. Well, you bring me the audio, and if it's solid, I'll make the case. Thank you, sir. You sure you're up for this? No, Gerald. I'm definitely fucking not up for this.
That's Myers. Sniper 2, do you have a shot on the subject on the right? Affirmative. Don't let Hugo in the building. God, I bet Ness bombed to parts him. Yeah. Nothing would surprise me. Where are they sending you? Crimes against children. You. Unassigned. Vincent, your heart was in the right place. That's it. 
It's not enough. What are you talking about? Well, Alex Lewis is dead. Without him, I don't have corroboration. You said if I bring you this recording, recording is a threat. Yes. Without the hitman, it's not enough. Come on, man. This is a case. It's not a case I can win. I'm very sorry, Vincent. You're kidding me. Look, when you're dealing with that kind of money, even if I had her handing the gun to Alex and paying him, she'd probably still win. Okay. Okay. You know, the sooner you realize that, the better. Listen, you tell me something. Beatrice Leon. What does she mean to you? Huh? Just some low-life Mexican kid who's probably gonna die anyway. No, not at all. Randy Seelman would take children out of his detention center and use them as his fucking sex toys. The problem is we can't prove you it. You know what's going on. We all know what's going on. Sarah. You're nothing but a fucking coward. Okay, that's it, Sarah. A lot of people, myself included, are fed up. Yeah. Time to take a leave, Sarah. Make it a long one. And then let's reevaluate. With pleasure. Yeah. 